Welcome back to the Sanders Kitchen. I'm Mike. Today we're doing part two of Italian fig cookies. And I would show you what they look like right now. I probably will, because I could put a picture of them, but I gave the rest of them to my son. They love them, uh, the ones we made before. So now I'm gonna make the, the dough, which is part two of the uh, Sicilian fig cookies, the recipe from Frank Davis, my friend, I uh, love him so much, too bad, I'm, I'm sorry, he, he died 10 years ago. But uh, he still lives right here in his recipes. Great recipe here. Now, the only thing I'm going to add to this recipe, and I promise you everything's exactly the same, just for the dough, is the anise. We're gonna add uh, one and a half ounces, because that's this whole bottle right here. So the first thing we're gonna do for this recipe is Add in the baking soda to the flour. Uh, by the way, all of the ingredients will be in the uh, description below. So I'm going to add in my baking soda and I will stir that in with a whisk just a little bit, trying not to make a huge mess. That's good enough because I'm going to use all of that flour. And so we had baking soda and the flour. Now for the liquid ingredients, we're going to use uh, two cups of Crisco that's been melted, okay? So I microwave this for about two minutes to get that. And then he calls out for a half a cup of scalded milk. Now you can't find scalded milk at the store. You have to scald it yourself, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just thought I'd had to say that. And, uh, and we have two eggs, some vanilla, and uh, two cups of sugar. So here's what has to happen. We, we mix that together, and now we have to mix together all the liquid ingredients. So we'll take the two eggs first, and we'll pop that in, eh, like this. I don't think you need to see in here. Uh, so we didn't put the second camera on. So we have the two eggs the two cups of sugar vanilla watch this boy does this stuff smell good mmm I'm gonna put all of that right in there ounce and a half and uh, and the scalded milk going right in here okay and all of the Crisco right behind it. All right. And now I'm going to turn this baby on and we're going to whisk it all in this mixer. And we'll just give this a couple of minutes to get it mixed up really good. I'm saying a couple of minutes, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds because it looks like it's mixed together fine right now. I switched everything over to the other side of the counter so we can get the second camera so you can see what's going on in here. So all I'm going to do now since we whisked everything together is take the whisk off and put it in the sink and we'll put the dough hook on. Okay. And We'll crank it up and we'll start adding the flour a little at a time. So that's how this works. The flour and the other ingredients are coming together to make this cookie dough. So it's not gonna be like a bread dough where it's going to be a little sticky and it's gonna rise. This is a different kind of dough. If it's sticky, then it's too wet, but um, and then you can add a little more flour to it. But honestly, uh, it's probably gonna be a little dry, if anything. And then you can just add a little water or a little milk to get it to come together. You'll see what I'm talking about. And some of this is hanging on to the sides, but I promise you, you're gonna use all of the flour. I'll probably take a spatula and just scoop some of the dough away from the sides. But uh, it takes a, a, a couple of minutes for this to come together, so don't rush it. Let's just let it work, and I'll, I'll come back and let you see what it looks like uh, when it's looking really, really good. Okay, 
As you can tell, I screwed up. I forgot to turn the camera on. I put it in place, but I didn't turn it on. Okay, it's on now. So when I really just, all I did was I put the dough hook on and all of the liquid was in here and I started adding the flour to it. That's it. And as you can tell, I didn't even have to scoop anything off the sides yet because it did it all by itself. But it's so wet that it's not coming together. And you can see that right now. So what I'm gonna do is add in more flour. And it'll come together. I'll just add all of this in. Eight cups, eight cups of flour. So now we'll just let this work, oh, you know, for a couple of minutes and I'll probably take a spatula, stop it and uh, like this and I'll take a flat spatula, I have to go get one and pull it away from the walls like this and um, oh, does it smell good? I'll tell you what, it, it really looks good right now. <laughs> looks really, really good. Okay, so to be honest with you, it, it looks great. It looks wonderful. So what we'll do is take it all out right now. Like I said, it's not like really making bread dough. You just need to mix it. It doesn't have to be kneaded that long. Mm, boy, does it smell good. If you have any dry ingredients in the bottom, then uh, scoop it out, put it in there, and let's work it. Let's work it in by hand. Okay, so my countertop is clean. And if I wanted to, I could lay it out there on the countertop. But... Uh, just gonna work it like this for right now. Yeah, it looks good. Looks really, really good. So when your dough, when your, your cookie dough looks like this, and it's it's not falling apart, um, that's it. You you've got it. That is your cookie dough. So now what we're gonna do is go into part three of putting the, showing you how to weigh it out, uh, roll it out, stuff it with the, with the fig, you know, the fig uh, mix that we made, and, uh, and we'll bake some cookies. So that's gonna be part three. So thank you guys for watching. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, The Sanders Kitchen, where we're making some really good recipes here. Um, anyway, have a great week, but make sure you watch uh, part one and part three, because <laughs> you don't want to miss the finale. Thanks a lot. Have a great week. God bless you.